This is one of the recordings that <laughs> I, I really sweat before I finish this, this song because I was very dear to the producer and the artist himself. So I had to play this song for like um, 10 times if I remember. So I'll play the song and go home and then Kewa. Okay, I will be like, oh, Charlie, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. There's this part I want you to correct. Then I'll come back, play, go home, come back again. It was very stressful, but I thank God for how it came out. Sometimes obedience to the people ahead of you is the best thing. Because they've been ahead of you and they know much, they've experienced a lot, so. Just being obedient to listen will get you very far. Yeah, so count your blessings by Quisio Ting. Okay, so the idea behind this song is Kay was the producer wanted a synth bass thing kind of effect but he didn't want to play on the piano or on the synth bass itself so I had to use oh yeah bass clinic I saw their video those girls are really good Clement are very good. Hi Adele, you okay? Yeah, so Kewa wanted that synth bass kind of effect, but he didn't want to play it on the synth bass keys or the key bass. He wanted me to do everything on the bass. But then in the mix he had to put a little flange effect on the bass to make it sound a bit you know synth like so that's the idea behind <clears throat> that's why you don't really hear the string pair strings and all that you hear very smooth movements so okay let's go It's in the key of key, actually. Catch you. So this part, okay, I had to do this 
um, duets as they were with Chrissy. Yeah, big bro. So we did that. So I had to put this a little delay effect uh, in there. So instead of I had to do. These are the little little things that makes your bass playing stand out. So I'm gonna go back again. of E and I have three notes I have so free I have do free I have far free so I just made good use of them yeah so I have some thing about long notes and short notes um, <clears throat> on the verse we I was doing long notes because the song had this guitar ish thing going on that distortion thing going on like that so I didn't it didn't really demand a lot of like short notes or groovy stuff from the bass yeah so i was just doing so
no, I know Clement. Over emphasis, sometimes it becomes annoying. So, where you're supposed to play a long note, try as much as possible to play a long note. If it's a short note, try and do that. And don't try to be all busy when you're supposed to just play one note. Because sometimes, you know, you have like two keyboardists, a guitarist, a percussionist, and a drummer. Understand? There's no space at all. You understand? Because maybe two keyboards, one is playing piano, one is playing strings and maybe organ. You understand? Organ and strings working, piano, trying to play licks, trying to play, you know, runs and all that. Drummer also trying to play chops. Guitarist also busy all around. So you the bassist who's trying uh, normally have to make the song sit. You are the one supposed to keep the song you know going because you have everything under your control so if you don't do that and you end up especially i hate this when i <laughs> normally during worship and for example if there's a break in worship and the worship leader is just talking it's just giving a, um, an exhortation or something then you, you maybe you need a band to play you know undertone that's where you see the bass things are very annoying you understand it's not about you <laughs> you understand it's about the singer or the lead singer you're just a backing instrument although you have everything under your control but you're not supposed to do that you disturb the music so if let's say here I am to worship here I am to bow Maybe the, there's a break. Oh, that's all you need to do. That's all we need to hear from you. If it was a jam session, it would have given you a chance to express yourself. But it's not about you. You understand? There's a difference between a jam session, a concert, a live recording. You understand? You, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Clement. So let's try as much as possible to avoid all those immature kind of play. It doesn't help. And I know most of the worship leaders get angry at that, but they can't tell you, which is very bad. Because all they'll do is, oh, this guy, this is how you play. Next time I won't call you. You understand? Which is very bad. I think God bless you, pastors. God bless you. God bless you too. If you find out something like if you're a worship leader and your bass player or your drummer is overplaying, I think it's in your <coughs> capacity to tell the person. Because then you help the person to become a better drama or bass player. You understand? If you don't do that, um you 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 rather kill the person's career or the person's you know um, dreams to become a better person. You understand? So these little 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 things all counts. Let's try as much as possible to be very real to each other because in our industry, especially in Ghana, most of the artists are not real at all. When they take you today, they play with you today, and they see that you are not really good, they just, you know, ditch you and then go for the next. You understand? Which is not good. I think, I believe in building a team that understands you, a team that will work with you um, in, 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 in riches, in poorness. <laughs> Whether there's money in the gig or there's no money, I believe in such things. You understand? Because then it's not it's not just going to be a showcase of skill, but during worship you feel the people's hearts, you feel the connection, the bond. You understand? So let's try as much as possible to work on that as well. Yeah. God bless you all. <laughs> Still long notes, very long.
no, nothing gory. behind the scenes that happened around this part of it so when it got to this part i was trying to be <laughs> very base biased trying to you know get my skill out there so when it got to this part <laughs> okay. i was trying to do something you know Sounds good, but it's not for this song. You understand? Because then why why the break? If it was about the bass player, why the break? You understand? The song is about to climb to another level, so that. <laughs> Imagine if I did that. I'm not sure you would have been able to hear the pizzicato, the guitar. You understand? Listen again. The guitar comes. You see that? But then when it's about to enter into when he's, when he's about to call um, the backups for the, um, I will not forget. Then I did my leg to call everyone as in the band to enter. You understand? It makes sense that way. Rather than trying to impress, trying to get your skill out there for everyone to know that, oh, it was him that played, he did that, he did that. You know, it's not about you, it's about the lead singer. So try as much as possible to just back him up in whatever he's doing. So I'm going to go back again, then I'll, I'll teach that lick shortly before I finish with my broadcast today. I will not forget. I will not forget. So that lick. Um, Instead of doing, you know, I did more of slides, so, so, so I just on the one. to play some with my left hand so I do this you see that once more oh 
thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kote is it Kote? Kote. Yeah, so the lick again. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so as it goes to the end of the lick, you see it fading. Fading. Fading because I'm not still playing with my right hand. I'm just. <laughs> go, 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 go. Thank you. Again. So to that bridge again. I will not forget. I will not forget. I will not forget. I will not forget. I To the last part, you remember this lick I did in Mala? So, so, sorry. Yeah, the same lick. So today I'll not forget it again. today's broadcast i hope you enjoyed hope you learned something new hope you learned a new technique yes hope you learned something yes <laughs> that's good